So, Edward, you have a new album out too, Jane and Barton. It's your first time you've recorded with Jane for, gosh, must be nearly 40 years now, which is, which is a long, long time. So, how did this album come about? How did you, did you suddenly find these songs were coming that were right for Jane to sing? I make, I make music every day and I make big piles of instrumentals and I don't definitely know what I'm going to do with them. Jane rang me up and then I knew what I could do with those instrumentals. I could pour some lyrics on top that she might like to sing. She came over to the house, listened to the instrumentals, liked them well enough. I sang a little over them, asked her what she thought. She liked them well enough. She started to sing them. She liked them even more. She has got a very nice voice. I think it's very sensible of her to like them more after she sung them than previously. And she hates driving, really hates driving. She lived in North Manchester and had to come all the way round on, on the orbital road which she did about 25, 30 times. And then we had an album. So you started with, you started with the song and you, you added the lyrics later. Uh, I, I've got, a, I don't tend to conceive of them at, at the same time necessarily. So I have big books with all the lyrics and then the computer's got lots of tunes on it. Uh, and I just introduced them to each other. And uh, on the whole, the instrumental's inflexible. So the words have to be diplomatic in the way that they uh, accept the configuration they're presented with. So the, the, uh, the songs are set in stone, as it were, and then the lyrics are poured over them like water. Sounds a bit like a dating agency. That's a... Um, are they always successful those dating agencies no. It's, it's, no. <laughs> no well it's it's like a dating agency that's always successful well I think there's a good business for you there somewhere mm -hmm. so and there's songs they're all they're all experiential or personal I guess because the lyrics are very are very I don't know uh, seem personal no they're not they're not personal at all in the in that they're not personal to me they're all personal to other people that don't exist. I, I think of a person and then I write their song. And do they know that then, you're writing a song? They're not, they're not a real person. They're a person okay. I've invented. Okay. That is, are enough like other people for me to be convinced I'm being convincing. Yeah sometimes the sound of the word invents a person. So the sound of the words invents a person. Okay, so what do you mean by that? It means you really, you write the lyrics and then somehow the sound conjures up an image for you. Everything's connect, connected. If, if I said, let's play a game where you think of a person you know and uh, I ask what sort of music perhaps a piece of music exists already would best describe them you could probably come back in half an hour with half a dozen people and a piece of music that fitted them it's uh, it's a little like that in reverse you, you you just you find equivalents for people in other mediums and your imagery seems that you like bears is that right? Well, I live I live with a lot of bears, and right. uh, they're overjoyed to be used. They're 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 sweetly flattered. The whole package, the images, the songs, it has an innocent feel to them. Do you feel innocent? Uh, the bits of me that aren't downright evil, yes. Okay, so there's all kinds of things inside you, yeah. So anyway, I like it a lot, and. Uh, I hope other people like it as well. I guess you do too, because that would make uh, it Musicians are always asked, aren't they? If they listen to their own music and they always say they never do. Whereas I will sit down and listen to my own music.
because I can't find anyone else that makes the music that gives me that particular insight. So I will listen to my own music. Okay. Well, thank you, Edward, for catching up with us on uh, two, two double O, T double O, that is, your new album with Jaden Barton. And we'll see how it does. <laughs>